Hi, it's Dwyer, April the 5th, 2021. DigitalAssetLife.com, RichardDwyer.co. Let's talk crypto. Let's uh, discuss XRP. But first, remember, this should not be considered financial advice. I want everyone here to do their own independent investigation and to rely upon their own financial experts. This is being offered for entertainment purposes only. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, I made a video a little while ago on XRP and I called it an asymmetrical bet. I said that XRP has a huge market involving banks and central banks that could lead to huge upside for the cryptocurrency. Understand too, very few play in this huge market. If you don't believe in XRP, then you should consider Stellar Lumens, right? Let me also add too that the play I'm personally pursuing is both. XRP and Stellar Lumens. Again, this is not financial advice. These are just trade ideas. Well, understand this morning, XRP has hit a three-year high. Right? It's doing even better <clears throat> than at the time I made the video, which was before the SEC's lawsuit against uh, XRP. Right? Understand, Ripple is the parent company that issued XRP. <clears throat> Well, let me just point out that there have been a few developments that make XRP an even more compelling investment. About a week ago, XRP bought 40% of one of Asia's biggest cross-border platforms, Tranglo, T-R-A-N-G-L-O. Folks, that's a huge buy. That also highlights that XRP's business is not limited to the United States, right? Understand, that deal has huge upside. Let me also point out, too, that with regard to the SEC action against Ripple and XRP, just understand that since that action was filed, you've had a new administration come in in the United States, and you have a new SEC chairman. It's now Gary Gensler. It's no longer Jay Clayton. It's Gary Gensler. And understand too, you've had new institutional money moving into the space, as well as huge players requesting greater regulatory permissions. So Fidelity recently applied for a Bitcoin ETF, right? Fidelity, which is a company with a market cap in the trillions, right? Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley are both offering advice on cryptocurrency markets to their customers. Understand too, <clears throat> you now have Bitcoin ETFs, not in the United States yet, but in Canada in Brazil, in other places, right? So the world is becoming more crypto friendly. Ripple has hired some very high powered attorneys with extensive SEC experience to represent them in their case involving the now more crypto friendly SEC. Now just understand, that if Ripple, which has liquidity, is able to settle with the SEC, then we're off to the races, right? Then the upside in XRP will be too much to ignore, as it is. It's at a three-year high this morning. Right? Let me also add, too, that within the last month, XRP has written a white paper highlighting how 
it can work with central banks as a bridge that central banks can use to go from one currency to another. So in this world where you have cryptocurrencies openly challenging the dominance of central banks, in fact, challenging the means for the existence of central banks, why they exist. Here you have a cryptocurrency that's actually telling central banks, we can work with you. This could be a win-win situation. So according to reports, Australia's central bank right now is looking at increasing its relationship with XRP. In sum, you have a huge market involving central banks. You have a changing regulatory climate in the United States and you have XRP making key acquisitions abroad to exploit, to benefit from those markets, right? The Tranglo acquisition is worth your attention. I think XRP remains an asymmetrical bet it's at a three-year high this morning. This might be just the beginning. I'm keeping an eye on this cryptocurrency. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.